so now we've exported our model. It is print ready. And now we've got to go ahead and get it to the printer. Now there's lots of different printers on the market and uh, you can see numerous videos we've shot um, at the IDS in Germany this year reviewing the different printers. Uh, but one of the printers that I just love and Todd over here at Digital Enamel has one as well is the Moonray S. And a couple of cool things about the Moonray S, Moonray S prints at 100 micron resolutions. It is a DLP printer and it can print dental models in well under two hours. Surgical guides definitely under one hour. And so we're gonna go ahead and go through the steps to get this set up. So all you really need to do is import your model by either dragging it or importing it using the file import function. There's a little plus sign right here on the screen and I'm going to go to my desktop and select my file. So one thing that's very common in a lot of printer software is sometimes the model doesn't come into the direction that you want it. No big deal. I'll go over the steps to rotate it. Uh, one thing about the Rayware software is if your model is positioned outside of the build plate, you'll get a little red error message. No different than CIRAC if your restoration is too big for your block. So we'll go ahead and move it around. So we want to position this model in the center of the build plate. Now, uh, Moonray has a special camera that has accuracy across the build plate. Most printers are most accurate in the center, then as you get to the periphery, things get a little fuzzy. So just as a matter of habit, if I'm printing one model or a couple of models, I try to center them around the center of the build plate. But you may notice uh, in the model, this is not printable. So what it's printing on is the buckle surface of the teeth. We want it to print flat on that base. So we're gonna go ahead and use the rotate function. And we can either move the model around with these little arrows or simply type in a number. And here I'm gonna type in 270 degrees, which is gonna make it flat on the base. Now you may notice that our model is here and it's flat on the base. And you may think to yourself, well, hang on a minute. Uh, we're printing on this build plate. And if I print flat, is that going to not make it hollow? Is that gonna trap some resin inside? It won't, don't worry about it. So we're now ready to go ahead and print. And so we can just rotate that around. We can look at it from the side and it looks really good. When we click this little printer icon, we've got a couple of different choices of resin. This is no different than the mill preview in CIRIC where we can select which kind of block we wanna use or which burrs we wanna use. So here we have resolutions of 20, 50, or 100. I select 50 if I'm printing something that needs to be a die. Um, however, if I'm printing something for aligners uh, or to make a night guard, 100 microns is certainly acceptable. And that measures the layer height or how thick those different layers of resin can become. We can also select materials. So Moonray is currently getting in the profiles for a lot of the Next Dent resins. And if you didn't know about Next Dent, Next Dent makes most of the printer resins in dentistry. They have a number of FDA approved uh, the resins out there, denture bases, dental models, uh, night guard materials. Um, they are sold in the U.S. through the Avident label. Uh, Moonray or Sprint Ray also has a number of resins as well, including a surgical guide and model material. In this case, we're going to print it out in the nice gray model material they have. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select that. Hit gray put that to 100 microns, and you can see that this is gonna print this model in 56 minutes. 56 minutes is really not a lot when it comes to 3D printing a model. Certainly, if you were gonna pour this up in die stone, you probably want it to sit for at least that amount of time. Um, so we just go ahead and hit print, and we're off to the races.